Well, the last couple of days have been a little hectic. I had to pack up my bike for shipment before catching an international flight to London and then reassemble my bike at baggage claim at Heathrow Airport before catching a train to go down to central London. But both my bike and I have made it safe to the United Kingdom and we're ready to go. Hello everyone. Well, I'm ready to start my bike tour of the United Kingdom. Uh, yesterday I arrived in London and got myself into central London here. And my intention today is to leave London going west on National Cycle Route 4, which is a posted route that takes you to uh, through the town of Windsor. Um, so now I, I have discovered I have come across National Cycle Route 4 here, just opposite the uh, House of Parliament, and I am going to take this route as far as I can to the west and get out of town today. It's a gorgeous day here in the UK, and let's get going. Hello everyone, I'm here at Hampton Court, which is the home of King Henry, King Henry VIII. And it's been a great ride along the Thames River all the way from central London. Really enjoying uh, today, and I'm, fo I'm still following National Cycle Route number four.
Well, this is the third day that I have been following National Cycle Route number four ever since London. And uh, yesterday and today I've been following the Kennet and Avon Canal. Reminds me of the CNO towpath that I was on last summer in Maryland. Um, except this canal is currently is still open to traffic and there's a lot of leisure boats and things that use the canal but every mile or, or more there's a, a a lock which is where I'm at right now and I've stopped and watched some of the boats go through the locks and it's very interesting um, one thing that uh that I've noticed the last couple of days is so National Cycle Route 4 is very well signed. Uh, I got a hats off to whoever maintains the signing for National Route 4. I've, I've been following it pretty well and through London it went on all kinds of neighborhood streets and stuff and was able to follow the signage very well. I have lost it a couple places. Just I just came through the town of Newbury where I stayed last night and I lost it, lost the route in a park and had to backtrack a couple miles to find it but I'm back on it and back on the canal and I'm hoping to head to uh, out to the Midlands today and see some of rural England well I'll keep you posted talk to you later bye hello well I just thought I'd give you an example of one of uh, of a sign that I've been following to keep on National Route 4 you can see the, the little red four on these signs, which have been very helpful. But you do have to keep a close eye out for them. Sometimes they're hidden in bushes, sometimes they're behind a gate, and a lot of times this uh, route is no more than a hiking trail, and I feel like sometimes I'm going the wrong way because the trail's gotten so small and narrow. But then I'll see a sign and I'll be heading the right direction. Also, since this is really a walking trail, you gotta keep going through all of these gates that are really set up for walkers. Um, some of them, a bicycle can't even fit through, so I have to take all my stuff off my bike and lift it up over the gate and get through. So it's, it's, a, it's made for an experience out here along the Kennet and Avon Canal. Well, I just wanted to give you an example of some of the tricky signage on this National Route 4. Here's an intersection with a signpost that uh, I might have just gone past if I didn't notice that in the bushes there's a sign that says I have to turn. And if I didn't turn, who knows where I would have gone. away from National Route 4 and I brought myself here into the town of Salisbury. I'm gonna take some a little time off and visit the cathedral, take a bus out to Stonehenge and maybe get some laundry done. So, uh, so it's been a good little detour and um, the weather's been pretty uh, cool but it hasn't rained yet which has been a plus. Anyway, having a good time. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
morning everyone. Today I am west of Salisbury following National Cycle Route 24 through the beautiful Wilshire countryside. This is exactly the reason I wanted to come to the United Kingdom, get out into the English countryside, see the rural areas, enjoy some crisp cool weather. I'm currently heading west and might make it to the city of Bath today. I'll talk to you later. Bye. About 35 miles or so from Salisbury, I rejoined my old friend, National Cycle Route 4, on my way to Bath.